So I'm going to say, uh, create a docu for me, for me. All right. And this is a beta version, so it may have a little bugs in it, but you guys can really see what you can do with these things. I'm going to say, uh, create an example uh, document for me. I'm not going to go through and answer all of the questions. And I'll do it like that. Okay. So it's just creating an example document for me. Say, let me know if you like any adjustments to this sample, if you like me to create a specific type of document. I'm going to say, uh, create the doc. I'm going to say, looks good. And we'll do that like that. And I'm going to show you guys another use case for this, okay? So now the GPT is actually leaving outside of the open AI platform, okay? And I'm going to show you what you can do with this. And and how this changes everything. Now, as you can see, this content right here was generated inside of ChatGPT, but watch this. But when I click this, now this GPT takes me directly into my Google document folder on Google. So now the document that I created inside of ChatGPT, I can now take it inside of Google Docs and do all the editing that I want to it which is something you can't do in chat GPT. You can't go in and edit. You can't change your fonts. You can't do any of that. So now I've taken something from chat GPT and created an actual doc. You can do proposals. You can do letters. This is how you can take your chapters outside of your books and take them into Google Docs to do all of your editing with on the fly by working in chat GPT. All right. That's one use case for it. All right. Let me close this out. And I'm going to say, I'm going to show you another use case for this. I'm going to start a new doc here, and I'm going to upload a document here. And this is a doc, uh, I'll probably end up sharing this. So this is a doc that I'm going to actually end up sharing in my group that deals with chain prompting. So I'm going to say extract all of the content. I'll, uh, the contents, uh, I'm going to say don't abbreviate. Sometimes if you don't tell ChatGP to do that, it'll abbreviate stuff that it takes out of these documents. All right. So this was a PDF that I uploaded. So I just told it, hey, take all the content out. I'm going to say the full Content. Don't shorten because it still shortens it sometime. And we'll do that like that. All right. So now this is a full document. Okay. And this may be something that I want to share, which I'm actually going to end up sharing this document once I do a little bit of formatting for it. And basically what this is, this is a document that I created for a training that I'm going to do on how to do what's called chain prompting. And it's just a basic examples of how to actually do it.